been a while. But let's fucking play. Look at that. Hey there. Picture. Look at it. Well, that's my demonstration. Fuck that radio. Welcome to Randall and Associates. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stephen Randall, owner and operator. I assume you're here for the position, correct? Yes, if it's still open. Hell yes, it's open. I can begin the interview if you're ready. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Yes or no? Absolutely. Let me murder them. That's good, but I need to be up front with you. You'll be pursuing high-risk bounties. Many of the targets are extremely dangerous. But with the high stakes comes increased rewards. There's cash for every bounty, an increased payment as you complete more contracts. There's quick money in bounties, but you can rapidly make a name for yourself and a lot of people will be looking for payback. So, what's your decision? Are you still ready to pursue the bounties? I'm up for any. Your first target is Tom Quigley, a former NCR Ranger who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mojave. Apparently he contracted syphilis and steadily lost his fucking mind. Despite his abilities with a rifle, he was drummed out of the Rangers. He eventually turned to banditry and murder, taking great pleasure in sniping Brahmin caravans from afar. Quigley's crazy, but he's still damn lethal. He's usually camped out in the hills west of the old Poseidon gas station. Any questions? How'd you get started as a bounty hunter? I'm a relative newcomer to Vegas. I grew up far, far to the east. My parents were Brahmin herders somewhere near the Mississippi. I never figured to be a violent man. I hardly shot a gun till I was in my 20s. I just wanted to raise my own family in peace. One day, a man came calling. He offered to help with chores, and he seemed sincere. He was a big help for several days, so I let my guard down. He clubbed me in my sleep and tied and gagged me. Then, he made me watch. He raped my wife right in front of me. Then he cut her open, pulled the baby right out of her belly, and butchered it right there. He carved off most of my face, and then he left me for dead. That was 15 years ago. I've been searching for him ever since. For years, he was always two steps ahead, preying on families in isolated areas and repeating his crimes. A few years ago, I heard he had a run-in with the regulators at the D.C. wasteland, but it's just a rumor. He's probably dead by now. I resigned myself to this profession. Over time, I've come to grips with the fact that chasing that man is a dead end. You got quite a story out of me, didn't you? I haven't talked about that in years. Any other questions? What was his name? His name? It was Marco. He's almost certainly dead by now. But if you ever come across him, shoot him for me. Any more questions? Who do you work for? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? No, I'm good. Let's go. Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. Tremendous abilities of the rifle to arbitrarily slaughter convoys and passers 
the NCR from the caravan looking for what the pace said. Be careful, and I swear to God you better bring me that finger. No mercy. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Eve. God, that sounds fucking creepy. Jesus, it would be I'll come. I can eat that. Target silenced. I didn't want to be seen anyway. Have you killed Quigley yet? Yes, here's his finger. I'll take that finger. Here's your reward. There's plenty of bounties left, so come back when you're ready to put in more work. Goodbye. I'll see you later. 125 counts. Very nice. Alright, that's going to be the end of part one, boys. If my recording would like to fucking work.